Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I will be teaching you the diamond system for banking. And this is sometimes called the diamond system, and it's usually referred to as the zero x banking and kicking system. I'm going to show you kicking today, and you can just translate everything to banking. I'm still kind of sick, so avoid the nasally sounding of my voice or any like grammatical mistakes I make kind of foggy brain today uh, but let's get right into it so first thing you need to know about the diamond system is how diamonds are numbered so the pocket you're kicking to is always zero so this is zero and then each diamond is 10 so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so the cue ball right here is on 20. And let's say we need to get to 0. So we divide 20 by 2, and that's 10. It's numbered the same on the other side, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on, up to 80. So this would be on that line where we'd have to hit 10. And sometimes you need a little bit of running English, or none at all. It depends on the table that you're playing on. So I'm going to go through the process of how much English you need to really use and how you can find that. So first we're going to hit 10 with no running English at all. And it looks like that is perfect. So no running English at all. So 20 to 10. Now if we're at 30, divide 30 by 15. If you hit 15, you go to 0. And so on and so on and so on. So you can use this to make your balls. So let's say we're on 20. We're going to go to 10. And we have a direct contact. But let's say that this ball is on 10. So we're on 30. And we need to get to 10. So what we do is... 30 plus 10 is 40, divided by 2 is 20. So then we would just aim for 20 if we wanted to hit 10. So let's also say that we are on an exact diamond. Our cue ball is on 30, but this is on in between 10 and 20. This is on 15. So again, what we would do, 15 plus 30 is 45. And 45 divided by 2 is 22.5. So this is 20, and this is 25. So we would hit directly in between those in order to contact 15. So let's say our cue ball is an on direct line. Let's go back to 0. We're trying to get to 0. Let's say our cue ball is a little bit to the right of 20. So what we would do is we would lay our cue down on that 20-10 line, and then we just scoot our cue stick over until it's over the cue ball line. And now we know we're going to hit right here to go to zero. And it's a direct contact. So this is a very reliable system. Now the only thing that can get bad. Let's say we're at 70. We're on 70, so that means we need to contact 35. Uh, so 35 is right here. The ball tends to swing a little long if you hit it slowly. And you have that wide angle, so we will always be wide. So if you are shooting this long angle right here, you might have to hit harder so that angle shortens. So if you're down here, you need to hit a little bit harder to get to zero or any of the other numbers. It's a very simple system. And then this over here, this is 100, 120, and 140. So these go up by 20s. So 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. So you would use the system the same way if you were going up and down this direction. And again, you need to compensate for your English. So let's say we're at 20 and we're trying to get to zero. 
but we cannot contact that 10 line because the 5 is in the way. I'm aiming directly at 10, and I hit that 5. And we need to contact that 3. So what we would do is we would add a little bit of English, and this is where you need to test out on the table to see how much English you really need. So let's put about a tip of English, and you see that comes up long. So we'd set it back up, use a little bit less English, and now we contact zero. Not directly, but we contacted zero. It's a lot of experimenting with this system, uh, just on the table that you're playing on. So, to do before your match on that table, if you can get on the match table, try out this system. Because uh, I don't know why my table doesn't need writing English, but if I use running English, you see it comes up short. So we're going 10, 5, 0. But if I use no running English, we go directly to 0. So some tables, you will need to use running English to get to 0. And running English is whatever direction that cue ball will go off the rail naturally. So if it's naturally going to the left, then left spin is running English, and you see how that widens that angle out. And... If we are at 80 and we need to contact 40, that is kind of a problem. Uh, so you can either use some running English and hit right before that pocket and try to contact zero, get as close to zero as possible. Or you can hit the other side pretty fast and get that same result. Uh, so we didn't get exactly to zero there, but it went bam bam, so we would have contacted the ball if it were there. Uh, also, a thing you need to worry about. If you contact this ball like 100% straight on, if this is like hanging in this pocket here, and you come off, let's say, 10, 5, 0. Let's say, 10, let's say 20, 10, 0. Yeah, 20, 10, 0, something like that. And it comes off over here your cue ball will scratch. So you need to aim for a side of the ball. So let's practice that. So let's say this ball is right here. And we don't want to just come in and hit it directly because of the scratch. So we would have to aim for that right side of the ball. This ball is at 10, cue ball is at 30. So we would hit at 10 plus 30, 40. We would hit at 20. Uh, if we wanted to hit it straight on. We want to hit it on this right side. So what we're going to do is just move that line back just a little bit around here now. Let's say around 21 or 22 if we want to hit that right side of the ball. And you see that gets us safe and that also gives us a chance to make the ball. So let's say I want to try to make this ball. So I know I would need to contact right here. My cue ball is on the 20, 10, 0 line. So if we hit there, our cue ball will go there. So let's move our cue over just a little bit to where it's right over that contact line. And now we have where we need to contact on this rail, around right there with that slow speed. And it's not a guaranteed pocket every time. But most of the time, it's going to be correct. Uh, to pocket these kick shots, it's very, very simple. It's a very sy simple system. So just a real quick recap. The pocket you are shooting towards is always zero. So if I was shooting towards this side right here, this is zero, and then 10, 20, 30, 40. So we would have to hit, to get to zero, we're on the 20, we would have to hit 10. And if we hit 10, we go to zero. So pocket you're aiming towards is zero. And then the diamond's going down 10, 20, 30, 40. They go down by tens. And then you may have to use a bit of running English on your table. Mine does not need any, but usually tables need a little bit of running English uh, to get exactly to zero. Never change your English on any shots. Always use the same amount when you're just trying to get to zero uh, because that will be the amount for every shot. 
If you're down here and you're trying to get to zero, you're going to have to shoot harder. Uh, because as, as you get wider, then the cue ball starts to rebound lighter. So you need to give your cue ball time to get to this ball right here. So as you move down the table here, uh, you start contacting points. Hit harder so your cue ball makes it to that ball and you don't miss the ball, obviously. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you guys are interested in improving your game with your speed and spin control, I'd like to show you the IQ training ball. So this ball has a cool little face on it. So whenever you contact it, a little chalk mark is left. So you can see if you're hitting exactly where you think you are. A lot of people think they hit center, but they really hit like bottom right. And this just throws off all of your shots. It will throw off every single shot and you will start missing. Uh, so if you'd like to purchase one of these balls, you can go to www.iqclinic.com. That's I-C-U-E-C-L-I-N-I-C.com. They're $27 shipped to the U.S. It, it's a little bit extra for overseas, uh, but $27 shipped to U.S. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.